Hey guys, what it do? It's your boy Supreme with Chiha the God. Yes, I know the faceless video. Uh, I want to talk about Kaguya Sama. Love is War, man. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful manga. This is something I've been reading for young girls for years. Um, and I knew that an anime came out. I didn't really care for watching it just because I read the manga all the time. Whenever it drops, I read that shit. So I'm like, why am I reading? Why am I about going to watch some shit that I already read? You know what I'm saying? But I did watch a few episodes. It's bangers. It's bangers. It's bananas. It portrays some of the stuff even a little nicer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I just read the read the latest chapter and I just had to talk about, uh, you know, the, the relationship between Kaguya uh, herself and and Shirogane, man. Shirogane, sorry. That's us, man. It's beautiful. So it's it's you know and i'm going to talk about you know kind of real life counterparts and how it kind of works and doesn't work in real life you know what i'm saying there's a lot of people um you know if you watch interviews a lot of interviews like oh yeah my husband like you know he tried and tried and tried for years and then eventually we got together and got married for me personally as a human being that could never be me bro that just could not if i get rejected one time is gg i ain't never trying to get on god Oh God, that's it. My ego hurt. I'm like, never, never. We can be homies. We can be friends. We can be whatever. But I ain't never in my life gonna ask that motherfucker out again. You know what I'm saying? That's just for me. Now, there was that one time I, I tried, bro. I had to try because I was madly, you know what I'm saying? I had to try that one time. So, you know, but this is why I love romance because a lot of these motherfuckers do shit I could never do right they do shit that i could never do that i wish i had within me to do but i just don't right uh there is uh last the last game phenomenal manga finished it's amazing if you love kaguya sama trust me the last game is Mwah. spoilers alert this motherfucker spent 10 years 10 years almost chasing this girl bro 10 years bro and he could get any girl he wanted on the planet except this goddamn one girl bro and it turns out this girl liked him the, the whole time and it, it would be more than willing to date him except this motherfucker kept dumping every girl he was with so she was like i never want to be his girlfriend because that means we're never going to be we won't be friends you know what i'm saying we won't be cool like we've he's always been there he always pops up because we're not dating type shit you know what i'm saying and she's like very you know not there when it comes to socially social you know what i'm saying so she doesn't fully understand or grasp the idea and the fact that he was only dating this girl to make her jealous but whenever they would date he'd disappear for months so she also didn't even like him dating because she, he'd always disappear teleport for a while interesting right boom so back to kaguya and and, and shinoim and shirogane so the interesting thing about it is you know if you if you look at the chapter the first thing he had on his wall and you know we actually i think we've seen this before if i if i recall we're a few hundred we're like 200 and something chapters in so forgive me if my memory is a little wonky uh but basically he had you know his goal was to to be a man that's like strong enough to stand up next to 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 kaguya you know and he wasn't the top top student he became the top top student in order to just say like yo i'm equal to you but he actually went above and beyond that and went above her in terms of like academics you know so it's beautiful he tried he tried he tried in every way possible see this is the, this is i think the key part about this about uh, shirogane is he didn't try to impress her in like your typical way he tried to improve himself so that he she could be something somebody that he, no so he could be somebody that she could like so instead of trying to show oh i like you buy you flowers all that shit he was like let me work on me let me improve myself yes he did it for her but he's improving himself he's working on himself and his inner self this is what all of you motherfuckers gotta do work on yourself king work on yourself king listen to shiri god god damn it everybody's so busy buying clothes spending expensive shit wasting money no work on here bro he got smarter he he became better more social he he just became a better person whether it was learning how to rap learning how to dance learning anything he spent the time he crafted so that he won't embarrass himself in front of her he improved upon every single obstacle thrown his way by any means necessary volleyball come on be like shirogane bro 
I don't even know what I'm going to title this video because I'm just chatting. But I just wanted to have a conversation about how great this shit is, man. And I want to talk about the relationship and how it's beautiful. Because both of them, you know, they're crazy. They're definitely both psychopaths. I'm not going. I'm not going to hold you. They both psychopaths. But I feel like I'm the same. I feel like. The girl that I'm gonna end up with, if I end up with anybody, is gonna be a psychopath just like me. She's gonna be a little bit crazy, you know what I'm saying? Because we ain't normal. We ain't built like normal motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? We built a little bit different. We wired a little bit different, you know what I'm saying? But don't lose yourself, you know what I'm saying? One thing important that Shirogane did, he never like forced himself or like made himself become somebody else. His core is always the same. I've been in positions where like I was like, damn, I like this girl, so let me try to get into what they're into, even though if I was I knew goddamn right I wasn't into it. I can't I can't date a girl that talks too much. I can't do it. I talk too much already. You know what I'm saying? I I already talk too goddamn much. So I can't be with a girl that's just like boom, boom, yeah, 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 yeah. Like I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? And I talk a lot, but like, I, I'm a good listener at the same time. I know it sounds wild, it sounds wild, but I've been told, I've been told. It's not me just giving myself these compliments. I've been told I'm a good ass listener, but I'm also a yapper. But I've met motherfuckers that just yapping, yapping. They have no, there's no chance for you to say nothing. It's like, bro, why don't you just call yourself on the phone and have a conversation with yourself, fam? You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but this is why I like Shirogane and Kaguya, man, they, they understand each other and like the more they're learning about each other's flaws, the more accepting they are, the more willing, even if it's some certain things they don't fully agree with, but they're accepting each other. Because Shirogane works so hard in improving himself, he has very little flaws that, that, that could push her away. She's been pampered and, and, and groomed to be a certain way. So she, she has a lot of these ideals, a lot of these, you know what I'm saying? And she learned some of these better things. You know what I mean? It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. I just, I don't know. I just want to talk about it. I just want to talk about it. And I want to talk about life. And I want to talk about how you should really, everybody, myself included, just work on ourselves. You know what I'm saying? I caught myself. I, I, I had to catch myself. When I read this chapter, I caught myself. I was like, damn, bro, you was about to move backwards again. Work on yourself, king. Queens too, man. Work on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Some of, bro, legit, some women in life will literally just want to look for the guy that's already there and just, boom, shift himself in there. No, you should be contributing just as much as the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Now, I understand that some men want that and some women, you know, want that as well. Like, that's the lifestyle that they want. Fair, if you can meet somebody that matches you, 100%. But if you're king or queen... That the guy don't or the girl don't match you like that, bro. Don't go for it. It doesn't matter how pretty they are. It doesn't matter how much you think you like them. Don't go for it. It's a, it's it's bound to be a disaster because you just forcing yourself to accept his or her way without agreeing with it. And the crazy thing about that is, look, you can only give to you should only give to small things. For example, right? She. You, she or he i'm just gonna use she as an example because i'm sick of saying he and she and she and he so for example she you, her fashion style you don't really love her fashion style right you're like ah the whole dress style is kind of huh, whatever right that's a small gift that's something you can get over right you can even maybe come to like it or appreciate it right her quirkiness it's a part of you know it could be a part of what you end up liking her more about eventually it's not a big deal right it's not a huge deal i know to some people it is maybe initially or whatever but the more you get to know somebody that becomes way less and less of a big deal now something that i consider that i would consider this is just example something that i would consider a big deal is let's say uh she wants kids or you want kids right uh and the other person doesn't that's a big deal you want to start a family trying to force them convince them and all that stuff even if they end up having kids and loving them kids you have just forced upon your will into somebody else's existence something that they didn't want or they didn't see for themselves that is not a good thing that is not a good thing that is it doesn't matter which way you look at it it's not a positive thing you know and for you to give up kids for her is also not a good thing neither of you should give up on your ways if that's how you feel now if later in life she decides to have kids and you with somebody else that's okay it's better 
now fair enough if the the conversation is like oh i'm not 100 percent sure i feel like i do want them but i don't know if i want them now that's a fair you know what i'm saying that's fair that's something more reasonable it's more of a gift because chances are she you know but you you have to know for you what's the most important if having kids for example is the most important thing for you you cannot say yes and just date somebody that does not want that lifestyle you know what i mean you, you shouldn't and this is why relationships a lot of relationships end and and people have divorces divorces rates are so high because everybody just is infatuated with with who they think a person is right and that's that's the that's the thing about it and when you when that happens you you begin giving more and more and more oh first it starts off with something you know like oh we have different different political views but you know what it's okay it's okay it's just different political views next thing a big election comes like quote the gay marriage your partner says nah and you like wait what are you still gonna be with that person and if the problems get bigger and bigger and bigger what if your kid ends up being you know what i'm saying what would you do so you gotta think about these things you really gotta think about these things you should not and i repeat you should not give leeways beyond a certain point small gifts too you should not have like 10 small gifts you hate the way she eats you hate the way she she doesn't clean you hate the way that she uh wears clothes you hate the way that she uh acts around other boys you hate the way that if you hate that many goddamn things and you just like her because she's super kind i'm sorry you should probably not be dating her too you gotta think see that's the thing about it bro and if you look at somebody like kaguya and shinoyama in the relationship there's not a lot they dislike about each other right there's really not there's not a lot they disagree on certain things but again the small gives like who they they wanted the friend to end up with you know that's a small give because ultimately it's not their choice it's not their decision it has nothing to do with them they both tries the hardest to hide the weaknesses and flaws from each other but when the other person discovers it they're like everybody's flawed and that's the thing as well you can't be so rigid that is like oh she smokes i can't oh she oh she i don't know she she likes going out with her friends ah she drinks too much ah like obviously unless she's like an addict or some shit like you know what i mean you have to have some kind of you know what i'm saying acceptability some kind of threshold it can't be too rigid it can't be too soft there's a nice in-between balance i like to call it the 40 60 40 percent sorry 60 yeah 40 percent leeway on soft soft only soft stuff only zero percent leeway on, on hard on hard stuff on like big things because you don't want somebody that's exactly a clone of you so 40 percent difference is reasonable you know what i mean so that's that that would be my suggestion man and that would be something that i feel like the story of kaguya sama showcases even i'm sure she was freaked the fuck out when she walked into that room this man is maniac but she knows herself and the meticulous planning she's been doing and the conversation she's been having with her, with her best friends and and all the crazy things she does they both approach crazy differently but they're both crazy so it works <laughs> look for and try to find your crazy yeah that's it it's been your boy spirit with shady guys i'm out i got friends now you ain't know but i got friends now